images of two people suspected of killing a man on the CTA red line over the weekend. Tonight, we're hearing from the victim's mother. WGN's Jenna Barnes is following the latest developments from Chicago Police Headquarters tonight. Jenna? Ray and Micah, CPD says it's stepping up patrols. The CTA is bringing in K-9 units. But for the mom I spoke to, none of that can bring back her son. Really sucking. Kina Moon says her son Deontay often rode the red line home late at night after working extra hours as a security officer at Millennium Park. Trying to uh, pay bills and uh, support his daughter. But she worried about him. Every day someone's get hurt, beat up, jumped on, robbed. It is scary. He used to always tell me that he might get into it with somebody on the train or something like that, and I would always tell him, be safe, or I text him and say, he good, is he good? I was, I was very concerned. Early Saturday morning, Deontay was shot and killed on a train at the 79th Street station. He was 29 years old. Police released this video of the two suspects they're looking to identify in his murder. I want y'all to get caught. Y'all hurt me so bad, so deeply bad, and I want y'all to pay for it. As Kina spoke with us about her loss, we learned of another shooting at the same red line stop. Just before 4.30 this afternoon, Chicago police say two guys shot at each other. One of them, a 17-year-old, was hit and taken to the hospital in critical condition. The other ran away. We got a lot more work to do. I, I would just tell you this is... Uh, not going to be an easy task. Before that latest shooting, Superintendent David Brown addressed the rising crime on the CTA. In addition to the CTA's 250 unarmed guards, the authority is bringing back K-9 units. Brown says CPD has increased its presence on the CTA, and although he won't say how many officers have been added, he says police are considering reassigning administrative officers on desk duty to work the trains. We've committed to adding more and more and more resources to do whatever it takes to make sure our CTA is safe. No, it's not. It's not safe. Kina Moon now comforting her heartbroken granddaughter, who will turn eight this month without her dad. And now I got to pick up and take the place of him. Anyone who recognizes those suspects can submit an anonymous tip at cpdtip.com. Deontay's family is now raising money for his daughter on GoFundMe. We're live at CPD headquarters tonight. Jenna Barnes, WGN News.